Hi, Nixie here and today we're gonna make our own small sketchbook. Sorry if the audio is gonna be kind of messy because I'm going with this without a script. Anyway, so we're gonna use this Canson um, watercolor pad. This is only 200 GSM but it is good for watercoloring nevertheless. I have made my own sketchbook before but I was using a very bad paper so yeah i decided not to show it but at least this time this is a decent paper so what i'm doing right now is i'm just cutting the extra bits and then here i decided to cut it in three and when i was done with that i am going to fold all of the papers in half so individually i'm going to fold them and this actually took a little bit because there's like a lot of paper here so um yeah now I decided to uh, divide all of the papers in three so I, I think each of these have 17 folded papers on it so 17 times 2 um 34 so each little sketchbook has 34 pages and then I put some marks. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just marked where I folded it because that is where I'm going to like sew them all together. I pre poked all of those uh, edges so that it will be easier once I started sewing them all together. And here it's gonna be hard for me to explain what exactly. Um, I'm doing here but um, I'm hoping that you guys can just see it because if I try to explain that I'm pretty sure it's going to be even more confusing if I try to like it's hard for me to explain it, especially in English I mean it's hard it's gonna be hard for me in Filipino or Tagalog so more so in English but yeah just hope you guys can see what I'm trying to do here and this is just the first page so i think what i'm doing here you, you don't have to necessarily poke all through that but i think for now it's just really the appearance for purposes just wanted like a straight thread going there it, it made it much easier when i pre-poked all of the paper so yeah but this is like the the longest part or the longest process because you definitely have to sew each of the paper and i decided to do this so that i can spread the sketchbook uh flat some people like sew them in three pages and stuff like that and those kinds of binding doesn't really have like a flat spread so yeah, I decided to do this individually. When you're done with that it's supposed to look like this and i'm pretty sure the one on the right is more loose and the one on the left is 
so much tighter and I think it looks better if you sew them together tighter because it it's not uh, wiggly like this one like the the one on the right and it just looks way better but you have to be careful when sewing them together too tightly because you might tear the paper and you really don't want that to happen and now I'm just getting the measurements of the spine and the height and the width of the sketchbook because we're about to do the cover and of course I'm using Kellogg's box for it because why not um, so the measurements that I got because the whole paper was 12 by 9 I have here four and a half inches with with the height of four inches and I think the spine was two centimeter wide and then I just cut it and here I'm not cutting all the way through on the spine just giving it a little cut so I can easily fold it like so and as you can see the paper sits perfectly inside of the cover and then here I realized I wanted the spine to actually fold with the papers when you spread it because if not it's not gonna um, spread flat so here I'm just doing the same thing just cutting a little bit on the spine so when you open the book like so it folds with it and I use a cloth to cover up the cover so I just put the same measurements of the cover but left few centimeters so that I can Go ahead and fold that into the paper and on the cardboard cereal box cover and i'm just cutting the edges or the corners here so that when i fold them together it doesn't get bulky I'm also cutting a little bit on the spine area here so I can fold it easily later. And then I took the cardboard uh, cover and the first thing that I'm going to attach is the spine area. So to make sure that I'm getting like the exact middle I also use a glue gun I would suggest you use like a fabric glue maybe but glue gun works for me so that's fine I don't have fabric glue and I don't know if it's gonna stick on the cardboard as well once I'm done attaching the spine first I took the paper and then put it in the middle because we're gonna stick the cloth into the last and the first page. And then I just use my glue gun again. First gluing the uh, top and the bottom here. And then next, I glued the sides. Voila! 
voila, this is how it looks like. And uh, because the fabric is stretching it a little bit, it doesn't want to stay close, but we have a solution for that later on. But right now, we're just testing out if it actually spread flat. And it does. That means the cover is successful. And there you go. The solution that I have actually to keep the cover closed is with Sanrio. Uh, Sanrio is like just a small rubber. People use it for their hair. But I don't really so <laughs> I'm just gonna use it for this small sketchbooks but we're not actually done just yet it's not actually 100% successful if we can't draw on it so here I definitely started trying it out and this is kind of funny because what I'm going to draw here would probably look weird for you if I don't explain why I drew it but um, to tell you the truth when I was looking for a job I saw this uh, dude hugging his chicken on the street and when I saw that I couldn't get that out of my head so I really had to draw it here um, I found it really funny but act but also kind of cute <laughs> so I decided to draw that instead and since we're using a watercolor paper anyway it didn't warp at all because I didn't use a lot of water it's so small it's literally kind of the size of my hand it's definitely a travel sketchbook and I'm gonna be honest I have I had this sketchbook for a week now and while I was going to work, I did not have enough time to draw because like I'd rather vape than draw but maybe I'll try actually drawing, you know? But yeah, this is... Uh, this is so cool and I hope you guys make one for yourselves too if you're uh, wanting to have your own travel sketchbook. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video and have a nice day. Bye.